All right, one unique senior graduating from the U of A this week has big goals. They're rooted in his passion for both science and his Native American heritage. In our conversation on campus, we talked about the importance of celebrating scientific contributions from cultures not often talked about in many classrooms. So it's like an art. I'm planning on teaching in public schools. I think a lot of times um, people say that we need to change the education, but they don't really take it upon themselves. So I'm going to be in the field, <laughs> you know, trying to uh, make those connections. Early in his college career, Omar Solis Acuña says he knew his knowledge in biochemistry would make more of a difference in a classroom instead of a research lab. He's honed his ability to connect with high schoolers by volunteering as a mentor with a University of Arizona group Someone named you know, Native SOAR, which stands for Student Outreach Access and, and Resiliency. So I think a lot of times, you know, for teachers, they just focus on teaching the subject rather, you know, building the student's confidence up. I feel like if a student has confidence, they would be able to achieve anything if they put their mind to it. Solis Acuña's family on his father's and, side is Pascuayaki. Know, he says his dad would share them. stories of his childhood when he was little, learning customs and living off the land. I kind of just didn't take it seriously because, you know, I wasn't aware at that time about being what indigenous me. And in his journey learning more about his heritage, Solis Acuña says school curriculums can and should do a better job at teaching students from or in tribal communities about the inventions and technology their ancestors created and fine-tuned. Pigments and pottery, just to name two. They were really scientists like ourselves. My job is how can we indigenize chemistry, you know, bring those um, heritage ties within science. Solis Acuña says he knows the work ahead may feel daunting. My dad, he was a teacher himself for a little while, so he knows the struggle <laughs> that I'm going to be going through. But he's ready and able to have more preparation because once he's earned his bachelor's, it's only a brief pause before he starts working towards his master's degree in education and gets more experience sharing his passion with students. So I want to be a resource for them to show them, you know, uh, I think a lot of times they feel not confident in the future. And I want to show them, you know, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. Um, this hiking trail is weak. Now the hard work and mentoring doesn't stop there. Omar has plans to then earn a PhD one day so he can help lead and write grants for programs that celebrate students' identities as they explore their interest in STEM careers.